Dracula Koopa. Hey everyone, welcome to the video. So today we're checking out an app called La Peri, French term, which means the flower of immortality. And this is based off a play that was written by Paul Dukas in 1912. And um, I think it's about a man in search of immortality. So let's check it out, shall we? Oh, that's sweet. Oh, it's a stage. Whoa. Holy shit. La Peri by Paul Duca. Paul Duca. And so it happened that at the end of days, the old King Iskander, on the threshold of death, scoured the outer limits of the universe in search of the flower of immortality. He traversed twelve galaxies without fighting. Till finally, he reached a forgotten land. Holy shit. This is so cool. His quest was coming to an end. On the steps leading up to the Temple of Ormazd, the icon of a peri was standing in her crystal dress, the flower of immortality shining on her breast. He simply had to reach out his hand. Oh boy. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> the lotus suddenly broke into four shining petals of life. Without the flower of immortality, the peri was no longer able to fulfill her destiny and to ascend into the immortal light of Ormaz. So she awakened the four spirits of gracefulness contained within her. Iskander now needed to bring the four scattered petals back together again. This is so well done. ignored the spirit and placed the petal safely on his scepter. He then left to pursue his quest for the three remaining petals. That is so crazy. Unbelievable. In the darkness lay beneath the temple a light Scandal's attention. It was the petals from the precious lotus. <laughs> this is 
kind of creepy. So I guess I gotta grab it. With a new petal from the rock was gonna hit me in the face. In his possession, Iskander again set out on his journey. All right, one thing I would just like to emphasize is how much depth this all has. I mean, you can feel the size of this whole stage and the audience, it's crazy. His steps soon led him to a dark hallway where a rustling could be heard. Another petal was close to his skull. The king glanced at it. Oh man, that just gave me goosebumps. Iskander was overtaken by hope, as the entire flower of immortality would soon be in his possession. I don't think that's a good thing. Oh man, I can't get over how cool this looks. Then Iskander saw the last petal fleeing in the distance. He swiftly cut its path by way of a shortcut, and he stood still, for before his eyes appeared... Oh, I'm way up on the stage. ...in trip. From that moment on, Iskander knew love. So apparently for this next part, they got a real ballet dancer to do this. Come on! Someone's whispering. Oh my god. I have goosebumps all over my arms. moving. Where'd you go?
The Perry then danced the dance of Perry's. Iskander was torn between his lust for immortality and his eyes ravishment. And while she stepped away from him, weakening, he gave his last breath to catch the final petal and bring but, back the lotus. I don't know if I should. Do I have to? Choose between your immortality or La Perry's eternal grave. I don't know. I don't think I want to. Oh, that's cool. How is this real? Well, it's not, but... face. Then, deeply moved and enthralled by her dance, Iskander returned the pet. Iskander saw her disappear into the immortal grace of the Ormars. And as he understood that this meant his end was near, he felt a shadow surround. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, that was absolutely spectacular. That completely blew me away. When that lady was just dancing around, it felt like she was in the room. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate that, and I will catch you later.